Okay, so for today's video, I wanted to cover um, a topic that I'm starting to see gain some traction in the Azure Kubernetes services space. So effectively, um, I'm setting up an environment to show you some of the capabilities a part of AKS Fleet Manager. This was um, announced back in October, Microsoft Ignite um, in 2022. It's still in preview right at the moment, but you can start um, understanding kind of the purpose of it, right? If you're familiar with Google Anthos or um, managing clusters at scale across different resource groups, locations, things like that, this is effectively um, the resource that unlocks that in Azure, right? Um, so I put up this architectural diagram. I set up a bash script um, in GitHub to kind of help you get started um, with this. Um, the only issues I started to run into um, creating my fleet, uh, effectively provision two AKS clusters, right? Two different regions um, and two different resource groups. You'll get these uh, labels added to the members. These are effectively your members, right? So think of the fleet as the driver of um, effectively your clusters at scale, right? Um, the key areas that you want to think about when you're managing multi-cluster, um, cluster resource propagation, um, multi-layer um, multi uh, operations that you will encounter, right? When we're looking at load balancing, especially for layer floor, uh, multi-cluster load balancing across workloads, um, this is effectively an area that you can direct to your CNI as far as those target clusters. So I'll show you a little bit around um, what this looks like from our perspective, um, but also it's a pretty exciting space, a lot of innovation. Um, so I just wanted to show kind of what's that user experience of this, what's the purpose um, throughout this video, okay? Um, so in the next video, I'm gonna cut off here. Um, we'll go into what that looks like. Okay, so we're back. Effectively, I'm showing um, some of the operations I'm running through my local Cloud Shell, right, um, in Azure um, to show you what that view looks like. So. Effectively, the fleet manager will have this logo that we see here. This will populate um, all the details a part of that, right? I have my uh, member clusters here. Effectively, those are those member clusters that are a part of this. Now, again, um, I'm going to show you through this screen here, if you can see that I have, when it goes to the member provisioning state, it'll have joining once you add those clusters. You could do it through the UI or through the CLI. Um, this will move into succeeded once it's good to go. This will show you that they're running, right? Notice that there are two different resource groups in two different regions. Um, this is a big area of what this does enable for your operations. Um, now let's also take a look how that looks a part of your cluster, right? So I already ran some of the commands to get my credentials populated. Let me just clear this. So we'll run a cube cuddle, get pods, cube system, so you can kind of see what's going on throughout um, the cluster, right? Now, where we're gonna see this addition to our specific um, cluster, right? What does that look like? So when we do um, the custom resource definitions, you can kind of see what's already pre-populated from AKS. Now, where we're looking for specifically is the multi-cluster services networking fleet, right? Um, this is effectively where some of these um, fleet resources populate when we do that join operation as shown earlier, right? So if I do add, right, you'll kind of see uh, the inventory across your environment. Um, so you can effectively provision. So this one hub effectively acts as um, the central nervous system, if you will, or the control plane. Um, so we'll ignore that for now, but just to kind of show you a round of what that looks like, right? So mind you, um, let's look at what that output is, right? You can see here throughout this diagram, um, we'll run some of these commands on that member cluster and we'll look at some of that YAML output, right? So we'll go back here. Okay, let's see. Uh, so get CRD, let me put um, multi-cluster services dot, we'll do this uh, manually because it looks like that command does not work. I'll have to do a pull request for that. Do azure.com output YAML. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Okay, okay, okay. So, da, 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 multi cluster. Oh, cluster. Let's... Okay, so what we're looking at here is effectively the YAML that's inputted from that CRD, right? So, a lot going on, right? Um, I won't... <laughs> we definitely won't look at those tags there. Um, but effectively, this is going to reference what that spec is, right? Um, from the label perspective, what's going to add those labels, the Kubernetes Azure.com managed by your fleet, right? Um, you'll have your UID as um, pre populated, the categories of fleet networking, and then the kind being multi cluster service, right? Um, so, obviously, it's a couple things going on here. You'll have the external IP, the service import, but just to show you that what that membership looks like, these will be added to those clusters to effectively control the operations of those clusters, right? 
So this is just one portion of those CRDs. Um, obviously, we can see that there's a little bit more when I do cuddle get CRDs. Uh, let's do a grep fleet. So then we can kind of see what else is out there, right? So there's um, internal service exports and internal service imports and then multi-cluster services, right? Um, but these are effectively added once we add that cluster to our fleet, right? Now, the key um, point of this video, right, is to get you a familiarized with what Kubernetes Fleet Manager is, right? It's still in preview. The Let's say you want to push out some scenario to uh, multiple clusters and they reside in different regions, right? Um, this will effectively help that management process. And now when we're thinking about load balancing, right? For instance, if we're thinking about high availability, let's say you're hosting a web application over here in East US and you want that redirection to other clusters, um, Again, this is a small use case, but effectively, let's say that this started growing in size, right? Um, managing these at scale becomes uh, problematic if you don't have any tools to help out with that. So Fleet Manager's idea is to centralize that management so you can use this area as your common um, resource to push out any changes to a, a group of members as they're known as fleet members, right? So two steps to this, right? You need your AKS clusters um, already that are not a part of a fleet or haven't been joined. So there's some limitations in that sense, right? Um, as you can see through the documentation here, and I'll cover um, that in another screen. Let me just show that real quick. So there's the architectural view, as you see. Um, it allows propagation, networking. You'll also see some of these um, YAML outputs, a part of um, that area kind of let me just zoom in on here, of the cluster resource placement, right? So maybe you want to place a certain resource um, in a specific cluster, a part of your fleet, right? And you only want to target that. That's the idea behind cluster resource um, placement. Let's say you didn't want to spread out um, said resource to the entire fleet in that scenario. And then also, let's say you had another subscription, right? Think of, um, let's say this was your prod subscription and this is your developer subscription. You can have that pushed out where it only targets that said subscription, but still in a managed format, right? Now, again, some of this is still, you know, obviously developing in nature. Um, there is a quick start to kind of get you up and going. A part of it as well that will help out with some CLI inputs, right? You can definitely see um, they put together a lot of good documentation on this. But I don't see too much coverage. Um, this is one of the bigger areas when we're thinking about managing our Kubernetes cluster, right? Um, especially at scale, these are going to be those resources that really empower that organization to take advantage of some of those options, right? Um, but definitely wanted to show you what that looks like, right? I have a repo um, located here. Um, I did use some of the CLI output. The only issue I was running into is the fleet itself. Um, I'm still working on that, but feel free to check out those repos so you can get started. And I hope you found this video um, helpful to learning um, some portion of what AKS does offer.